Lars for First Zoom TV. We're here at the Gigabyte meeting rooms at Computex 2012. And we get Tim Handley with us here, who's going to introduce us to some of the new features they have on their uh, latest generation of uh, motherboards. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at our new Ultra Durable 5. So Ultra Durable 5 basically introduces a new power infrastructure on the motherboard that runs a lot cooler and a lot more efficient. And the key components are these power stages from IR. IR is International Rectifier. And the product name is IR3550. Now, if you look at this model over here, you can see a traditional design for a MOSFET. You've got a driver IC, you've got a high side MOSFET, a low side MOSFET, two low side MOSFETs, right? They're separate chips. Now, that is what we call a multi-chip design. And normally, those, those sort of MOSFETs are DPAC. DPAC is like an old style traditional MOSFET. And it gets quite warm. Then we got the power stage, which is just a single chip design. And it's kind of similar to driver MOS, in that it's got a, a driver IC, a high side MOS, and two low side MOSFETs all together in one, one design. But what makes this difference to a driver MOSFET is that everything is designed by IR. A driver MOSFET, might, th those components might be made by different people, different companies. And because everything is designed by IR, it's optimized to work together. And I think the key ingredient is that they're, very, they're using a very low loss copper um, to connect everything together. That means that it's very efficient and that's really why it's so cool. That's why, um, well, you know, on a motherboard, heat is the enemy. Yeah. So we want our motherboards to run as cool as possible because every component is rated to, to run longer when it's cooler or shorter if it gets warmer, right? So essentially, the main benefit of Ultra Durable 5 is that it runs a lot cooler. And these power stages, as well as the, the rest of the infrastructure of the, the power phases and the power infrastructure on the motherboard, is all rated to run at 60 amps. So it's very high current, good for overclocking. So you, you have a bit of a demo you've set up here. Yeah. So in this demo, we're comparing um, three different power phase designs. So we have the the new six phase power stage that, that Gigabyte is using on the right hand side and you'll see that one runs a lot cooler. In the middle we have a six phase using traditional MOSFETs which are the DPAC MOSFETs and on the left hand side we have an eight phase that is running also DPAC. So you can see the temperature differences. The DPACs are running at 86, 87 degrees C. These, all of these systems are running at 100% CPU utilization. Um, and what we've done is we've taken the cooler the, the, the heatsink off the MOSFETs, off the, off the power phases. So this is not really a real life situation, but we're just stressing them just to show how they work. But, you know, we're finding that more and more of our customers are selling overclocked systems. So they are system, system integrators who are selling gaming systems. And these system integrators who are selling gaming systems will often use water cooling and they'll overclock them and sell them as that. Now the difference right. between and, air cooling... And when you're doing water cooling, you don't get as good airflow around the that's right. power regulation components. An air cooler will blow a lot, of, a lot of wind around the whole CPU zone and that'll cool all the components down. But a water cooler doesn't. So this is why this demo is quite realistic. You can see that the power stage is around about 20, 25 degrees C cooler. Right. So. For anyone using water coolers, this is a significant improvement then? Sure. But the downside is that they are quite expensive. So we've got a, a new motherboard called um, the Z77XUP7. And the power stages on that motherboard at market-related prices are around about 125 US dollars. That's more expensive than most motherboards. <laughs> so you, you that, that, that's not for your that. average user though? No, no, no. That, that, that's for the overclockers, people who will be using k -skew CPUs. So, but you, you're changing to this uh, to on all your new motherboards now from now on, or on the high end. Right. So it'll be UP7, UP5, UP3, that that sort of range. Right. Great. Thank you very much.